I'm Laura Worsler, a contributor to You Look Good for Your Age. I'm reading the introduction to my essay, Aging in Three-Year Increments. I take a deep breath, roll back my shoulders, tighten every muscle, and extend my spine upwards. As I visualize the spaces between my vertebrae expanding, I feel the pressure of the height measuring bar pushing down on my head. Am I shorter today than I was three years ago? As a participant in the Canadian Longitudinal Study on Aging, I'm attending my third round of testing at the data collection site in Calgary, one of 11 across the country. Between 2010 and 2015, more than 50,000 men and women between the ages of 45 and 85 were recruited for this national long-term study to determine the impact of both medical and non-medical factors on aging. When the study ends in 2033, I'll either be 80 or dead. Several weeks ago, I hosted a research assistant for the in-home interview, during which my eating habits, exercise activities, medical history, medication usage, family and social relationships, transportation needs and means, mental wellness, and community engagement were documented. This morning, I arrived ready to be poked, prodded, scanned, and interrogated again, ready to do my part to help science understand the factors that contribute to healthy aging. But right here, right now, all I care about is how I am aging. Am I shorter or weaker than I was three years ago? Will my test performance demonstrate a decline in physical mobility, a degradation of my cognitive function? Am I using it or losing it? I know I look good for my age. At least that's what many people tell me. But at 65, I've come to understand that what matters most is not how I look, but how I move, how I think, how I feel. Aches and pains and hearing aids aside, I'm feeling strong and wise and connected. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed the book.